Let's get to the coronavirus vaccine latest now. North Carolina providers have given more than eight and a half million doses of vaccine, and that number slowly climbs each week. But with less than half of the entire population fully vaccinated, state leaders hope that a million dollar cash incentive will spur even more people to protect themselves and their communities from COVID. So is it working? WCNC Charlotte's Chloe Leshner is live for us at Medic headquarters in West Charlotte looking for those answers. So Chloe, did more people go out and actually get the shot this weekend? Vanessa, I spoke to a few vaccine providers in our area and they definitely saw people out this weekend, but not in overwhelming numbers. The way they see it, people who aren't opposed to getting vaccinated but just haven't found the time, they will come out. But people who have serious fears or concerns, a chance at a million dollars is not enough to convince them to come and get vaccinated. The supply of COVID vaccines has outweighed the demand for months now. Of the people who still haven't gotten the shots, many struggle to find the time or the means to get to a clinic. I know like seven people, they are asking for it and they got no transportation or they don't know how exactly, you know, like taking the bus or whatever. The new million dollar cash drawing in North Carolina meant to give the final encouragement some may need. Anything that will um, kind of push people in the direction um, that that's that's a good thing. But there's another group with hesitations who are not rushing out to get the shot. Some don't really want it. Some of them uh, think that the shot gonna hurt them. And a chance at a million dollars isn't the answer in that situation. One-on-one -on -one conversations with a medical professional or with a public health professional are gonna address those not necessarily an incentive. Halfway through the national month of action, education is still the key to success. For those who still have questions, that we give them the opportunity to have their questions answered. We provide them with the facts so that they can make an informed decision. And we hope that that informed decision would be to get vaccinated. And another warning from the White House all the way down to our local health leaders. The Delta variant is here and it is more severe and more contagious. The good news, though, it seems like the vaccines are protecting us against it. Live in Charlotte, Chloe Leshner, WCNC Charlotte.